uh, videos. Is, uh, well, so opening the first box. We, uh, so here. Today we're unboxing, reviewing, and installing the M360 Plus. Sorry about the green screen in the back, guys. Usually I have that keyed out, but because my computer is being used, well, it's taken apart because I got to put this thing on there. Um, I can't key anything out. So. Uh, we are going to unbox this today and in the next video I will be installing it. I am a noob at this so uh, This will be interesting. So if you are a beginner you may want to watch this and uh, Learn from my mistakes. Okay. So anyways, uh, let's get into the video Let's open this up All right, so in here we have the Destructions, I like to call them because I never look at them and I always mess stuff up with whatever. Okay, we have the rubber. This is a 300 and, or sorry, the 16 mil um, so that you can bend your tube without it collapsing on you somehow. This, I think you guys can see that above, is the uh, CPU block that comes with it. Cut it open here. All right, so inside here we have the instructions for the CPU block, of course. I just should hope that's in there. We got the actual, I, th I believe this is called the P4 or something like that. What is this? This is the, yeah, oh, sorry, the W4 uh, block, whatever that means. Uh, actually, that's the header for the um, RGB, I believe. That's RGB, actually. That's not... All right, so I'm still into air cooling here. Sorry, guys. And then we have uh, the headers here. So this, I'm assuming, will plug into the uh, USB hubs that come with these things. Um, I believe there's three or four in here. One is for obviously the um, CPU block, which is actually right here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, looks like a USB 2.0 connection here and a bunch of uh, headers so that you can fit them. Now remember, um, the, the motherboard that I'll be using for this is the Rampage Apex and I think it only has one USB 2.0 header on it So I'm gonna have to occupy it with this if I want if I want uh, the RGB Especially the plus because it's based around the RGB You make sure you guys have the 2.0 on your motherboard So take a look before you buy this otherwise you're gonna be sending it back All right Okay next this is the clear liquid. So uh, C1000 pure clear, they call it. All right, the tubing. This is the 16 mil, you get four of them. I'm not gonna pull it out of the box because you guys all know what it is. So make sure when you guys are uh, picking up your tubing that it fits the compression fittings that you guys are about to get with your computer, okay? So make sure you know, this is 16 mil outside, 12 mil inside, I think, is what it is. The good thing about this kit is it comes with compression fittings. So everything in here in this kit, just so you know, is meant for you to get a basic water cooling uh, system going. Okay? That, it doesn't include your video card and all that other stuff. Okay, guys? So... Next we have the RGB fans, uh, so it's the Ring Plus 12 RGB. I won't pull it out of the box, there's three of them in here. It's pretty straightforward, they come with USB um, headers and uh, they uh, also the USB hub as well too. So I think each component actually comes with a USB hub. Alright, next. So we're going to get through this quick guys so we can get on to the installation. This is the pump reservoir. Okay, it's also RGB 
and um, yeah it's the combination like I said guys it's it, it's fairly straightforward uh, I'll do a review more on the uh, performance of it than I will the components of it you know I'm just not uh, I, I don't know the components that well for me to, to give you a, you know, a breakdown of how they run and all that other good stuff. All right, next we have the radiator. This is the thing, like I said, that made me um, want to buy this thing. Okay, 120 milli um, millimeter fans fit on this thing. 360 and three will go on top, which is obviously what these are for. All right, let's open this up. Yeah, there you go. So it's all bubble wrapped and stuff, but uh, what is this? Oh, these are the uh, fan hubs for this. Now this also comes with an RGB strip that actually fits along the side of this as well. So uh, that's pretty, oh here it is here. This is the RGB strip. So this fits on the side and plugs into the, the one of the fan headers that comes in the box as well too. We'll put that there. And of course we have our compression fitting. So this is just the straight compression fitting here. So let me move this out of the way so you guys can see this up above. So this is the straight compression fitting. I'll open it. I think they call them the straight. Huh? It's just... Now with these compression fittings, what I liked about them the most is they're actually a three-piece system. Yeah. Need muscles for this stuff. There we go. Put that in there. Clean this up. Okay, so they come with a, a three-piece uh, compression fitting system. So this is obviously your cap here, and then the actual seal, which has the o-ring that you just seen fall out there so that fits right on top like that so it compresses and then the the actual tube fits into this here so it makes life a little bit easier I, I think that's the way it goes I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes all right we'll find out if it's not then we're gonna have a huge leak and shit's gonna go awry so let's hope that doesn't happen all right I'll show you the 90s too if I can find them in here So you get two 90 degree compression fittings as well. And that's them there. These are actually really nice. It's gonna go well with my system. All right, so that's pretty much it guys. Um, oh, also I wanted to show you guys the kit that I got for the cutting and uh, preparing the uh, 60 millimeter PEG tube is right here. So I just wanted to show you guys this really quick. It just happened to be all I am not sponsored by Thermal Tech, believe me. Okay, so in the box, uh, obviously, manuals, and it comes with the PETG uh, cutter. The bender, so we've got 90, 135 degrees, we've got 180 degree, we've got a 360 degree in here, so if you wanna do those wicked little loops in your tubing, you can do that. And this thing here actually cleans it up for you, so you can do the inside and the outside to clean the edges up. Comes with the bending tube as well. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys that. Uh, I'm hoping it makes my life a lot easier because, like I said, I'm a noob at this and uh, yeah, so let's hope that makes my life a little bit easier. It's been a couple days now since then and I've actually already installed it on my computer. 
Um, so, <laughs> and it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. There was a couple big hiccups there that uh, kind of put a fright into me. So make sure you guys watch that installation video. If it already isn't up, uh, it will be up pretty quick here. I'm actually just uh, doing the editing for the review uh, of it. I had some wicked performance increases. It really does a good job at increasing the performance of your computer. So that's good. Just be careful when you're putting it on. Okay, anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Give me a sub if you already haven't, and also uh, hit that bell icon. We'll see you next time on Jack of All, Master of One.